Okay. Hey, everybody. I am going to fill in those pinholes. So, I did what Mixed Media Girl said and I sanded it down. Well, I sanded it. So, I didn't go all the way down to the canvas, but I sanded it pretty good. I still see the pinholes. I should have been more clear with her and asked her, do you have to sand all the way down until you don't see the pinholes? But I'm kind of guessing you don't have to. As long as the sanding it, it just helps the resin adhese to it, I think. So here we go. So I sanded it with the 220. Pretty good. I mean, not real hard. I went around in circles first. And then I went back and forth once. And then I went this way once. And that's it. And then I wiped it down with a sort of a moist washcloth to get off all the little, you know, dust. So I mixed up my stone coat. And I think we're good, ready to go for two minutes. Actually, it was like three. So this is the stone coat that I did it with. And I didn't torch it afterwards enough. I didn't get out the air bubbles. So here we go. there yeah sure hope I did it right I should have asked her do you sand all the way down till there's no more pinholes but I don't think so because you might hit the canvas the paint you don't want to do that I think this fills in this the pinholes so okay my hands are clean right there's nothing on there. And I'm going to do what she does. And it's brought back out again. <laughs> I don't see no sandpaper marks no more. <laughs> that makes me happy. <laughs> And I did spray the bottom of my canvas just a little, tighten it back up again just in case. It's just kind of level on its own, so I'm told. This one I want to preserve because there was no, no flaws in the in the paint. All right, so I think I'm good. See, it's all over it. Okay, now I'm gonna heat it up just a little bit. Here goes the heat, guy. Up the bubbles. Does he? Does he really have to do it good because stirring it gives bubbles. Pop those babies. Get them out of there. It's kind of nice having the Acadia there because I can see on a, a angle.
I need to turn this off for a minute because I see a kitty hair. Yeah, it's nice with the light on this angle. See her here. I'll have to get me some kind of tent to protect these while drying. those because whoa when you have the resin those little hairs show up it's crazy so I was thinking about getting one of those little dog tents or something all right one more time because I'm gonna make sure I get those bubbles popped Too close, just enough to hopefully get rid of the bubbles so I'm not seeing any. And this has helped leveling it out too, it looks like. Everything looks good. Except right there, there's something there. <clears throat> oh man. Alright, I guess I'm okay there. Time Just to level that spot. All right. So I don't think I tilted any. Don't need to really. So I don't see any pinholes and see a couple little spots here. I don't know what they are though. Hmm. Looking at it from an angle, I guess that's just because it's so. One more time with the heat gun and then we'll torch it. <coughs> There must be like cat hairs on top of my dryer and the heat gun. And all right, that's good. So now I'll give it a torch. I don't see any bubbles, there's just like a little spotting right there. 
not sure if that's just bubbles surfacing. We'll see. See no bubbles. All I see is just a few little speckles of something. I don't know what it is. But other than that, that's it. Just in this one area, like pinholes. Why? Let me see what happens if I hit that heat gun right there. Oh, there. There are bubbles. There. Okay. That's it. Now I'll let her down. Just let her dry. See what she looks like afterwards. Looking good, though. Okay. <laughs> I did it fixed her. Alright guys, that's it. That's how you fix pinholes, I guess. Because I don't see any. But I'm gonna, I am going to play it safe and check on it in like five minutes and retorch it. Just in case more air bubbles pop up. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Just thought I would include you in on this repair here. Okay, since I'm learning. Bye-bye.